Hey there, welcome to this lesson. Hopefully you took the time to work on the assignment that I left you with in the previous lesson. So we're going to go over the solution for that first, and then we're going to have more puzzles, more SQL puzzles for you to get practice. And I'm going to tighten up all the nuts and bolts remaining where, when it comes to uh, using these filtering conditions, using the where and or, uh, along with how to use parentheses to, to combine conditions together. Uh, so let's get started. The question was, in the previous assignment, I wanted you to write a query that returns those employees that don't make any commission at all and that have a salary greater than 1100 but less than 5000 Now, the only exception to that rule is that their salary cannot be equal to 3000 Okay. So let's get started. I'm going to do a select, and let me actually change my syntax to be more easier to read. I'm going to use capitals. Select star from emp. Let's get the data in, in this table, and this is the entire result set. So the first things first, I need to identify those employees that don't have any commission, right? So that qualifies all of these records except for the ones that have some data. Um, and as a matter of fact, Turner here, this record also qualifies. You may have had trouble uh, bringing this record into your query, okay? And that was, I purposely made it tricky so that you had to figure out how exactly to get this record in there. The first thing is uh, you may have, or a lot of people make this mis mistake where they say, uh, select star from employee, where uh, the, uh, the commission column here, C-O-M-M, C-O-M-M -M is equal to null, okay? This is actually inaccurate. You can't have equal to null. You have to use is null. And the reason is equality means that you're checking for uh, the exactness of something, okay? And there's no such thing as a null value being exactly equal to another null value, right? Two nulls uh, do not actually equal to each other. It's like saying that empty is equal to empty. No, it's not actually right? And emptiness is totally different than some other emptiness, if hopefully you understand what I'm saying. But basically, that's the gist of it. You can't have null equal to null, right? That's why they have that special is null uh, term, or keyword rather, in SQL. But anyway, if you were to run this, um, this would be a mistake, and it's just going to say invalid SQL statement. So you may have run into this. A lot of people actually do find themselves with this error. So if I do is null, all right, if I change that equal to is, now this is going to return all of those employees that actually have uh, null in their uh, data, okay? So we'll, let's start with this, and we'll go over how to bring that zero that I showed you in later. So select star from emp where commission is null, and the salary is greater than 1100 and salary is less than 5000 now some of you may have actually thought that i wanted a range right between 1100 and 5000 but that's if you look at the instructions carefully that's not what i asked for i wanted a salary that's greater than 1100 but less than 5000 that means i don't want this 1100 included in the results at nor this 5000 right i want it to be greater than this number all of those employees that are that make more than this number and all of those employees that make less than this number okay so within this range but non inclusive not including the 5000 or the 1100 because remember the between clause includes the the beginning and end range in the result set and we don't want that included now let's let's run this so that we have a subset to see what we're working with. Now we have all of those employees that didn't make a commission and that make more than 1100 but less than 5000, okay? So we're on our way to solving this problem. Now the third uh catch was that the salary, the salary cannot be 3000, okay? So these guys Scott and Ford, they make $3000 these should be excluded from the result set. So we need a, another AND condition and say where salary is not equal to 3,000. Uh, if, if you select this and hit run, this will give you the data. Now another way to do 
not equals is do this less than greater than right so if this is if the salary is less than 3000 as well as the salary must be greater than 3000 then that means it's anything but it's anything but 3000 right so that is essentially the same thing as uh, you know doing a not equals so uh, this less than greater than together is the same thing as not equals so feel free to use that now uh, if we select this entire thing and hit run this gives us all of those records okay that we are interested in except for that one record where the the commission is actually zero that also qualifies as, a, as an employee that didn't make any commission so let's select from the employee table again so we can identify that record and here is that guy Turner he's a salesman and he made zero dollars in commission so I actually need to include him in my result set I can't just say and uh, commission is equal to zero because guess what all of these conditions are being applied at every single record right and when I do this it's going to check for this must be uh, this this condition must be true as well as this condition must be true as well as this can these conditions must be true and that's not gonna pass for any of these records right if I run this uh, no data no data found okay so we can't use and commission is equal to zero so for this particular problem I could change it to or commission is equal to zero all of these ands are filtering the data where commission is null and salary is greater than 1100 less than 5000 and salary is not equal to 3000 or return those records that have the value zero in the commission now if I select this and hit run notice that it does bring in that extra record Turner he's making zero dollars so hopefully you didn't miss this commission is equal to zero because that is actually also another employee that is not making any commission now this query does return the expected data but it is not 100 percent correct let me show you something interesting if i take this or commission is equal to zero if i take this statement here and put that in between you know in between these and and conditions and then run it's actually not going to give me the correct result and you may have made this mistake as well uh, basically, it's breaking these the anding of this condition, the ands together. In SQL, you want to combine all of your and conditions together as one. So having this or interrupting all these ands, uh, this query now is basically select star from emp where commission is null and salary is greater than 1100 and salary is less than 5000 or you could have a commission equal to zero and salary is not equal to 3000. So do you notice how this or is interrupting the flow of all of these ands together? It's actually dividing the criteria into two parts. One of the parts m matches these first conditions and the other is this entirely new uh, the, this entirely new criteria. So it's making either one of these to be true and that is not correct according to our requirement. So if you if you pull that or out of there, all right? And you want to combine all of these ands together because each one of these records qualifies only when all of these conditions are true, where commission is null and salary is greater than 1100 and salary is less than 5000 and salary is not equal to 3000. This is one, uh, this is one chunk, one condition, really. One, all of these things together is what qualifies a particular record. And at the end here is where we're tagging on this extra thing where we're saying, or the commission could equal zero dollars. So oftentimes, when we have these these conditions here, multiple conditions, they're actually they're actually wrapped in parentheses. Okay, so everything in these parentheses is evaluated together. Okay, so the presence of parentheses causes conditions within them to be evaluated together. Keep that in mind. That's this is very important, um, and uh, not using this correctly could cause inaccurate data to, to be returned okay uh, in this particular example you can either leave the parentheses in or leave them out um, as long as all of these ands are clubbed together one after the other they're all going to be uh, checked together 
And then finally, at the end, we're, gonna, we're checking or the commission is equal to zero. Okay, so you can run it like this, or you can have the the parentheses, um, which I highly recommend when you have these multiple conditions like this. And it makes sense for all of these conditions to be evaluated together, wrap them in parentheses. Okay, and then this or clause, this is sort of a, a loner, we could just leave that on its own out there. Now this query does give us the correct data that we expect based on these conditions, but guess what? This query is incorrect, okay? It's, it's wrong. And I'll explain to you, I'll get into the details as to why that's wrong. This is giving me the correct data, but it's not a correct query uh, for what we are trying to do. Let's say that um, instead of salary not equal to 3,000, I change the terms of the question and I say and salary should not be 1500 the the conditions now are uh, select everything from employee where the commission is null okay so all of those employees where the commission is null and the salary is greater than 1100 and salary is less than 5000 okay and uh, the salary should not be 1500 okay so at this point what do you think is going to happen when I run this because this 1500 is the guy that contains the commission zero. And I need to exclude this record because the salary is 1500. We can't have a salary of 1500, right? Based on this condition. But when I run this, I change the salary not equal to 1500. So I don't want this, I don't want Turner to show up anymore because he's disqualified. Uh, his salary is 1500 and he should not be in the results set. When I run this, guess what? His data is coming in, right? Uh, even though I'm saying salary is not equal to 1500, he is still showing up in the result set, right? The reason for this is exactly how it sounds like. We're saying select from employee where commission is null and salary is this and salary is not equal to 1500 or disregard all of this, just give me commission is equal to zero, okay? So it's either or, either all of these conditions are true or this condition is true all right that's what's going on here that is why this is being uh, included in the result set so how do we how do we ensure that um, we identify where commission is null as well as um, those people that earned a zero in their commission and and have all of these conditions be applied as well so the way to fix this, we can get rid of this or commission is equal to zero and put that, we can put that here, up here. Now let me get rid of these parentheses. So I can say where emp, and let me organize this a little bit better. So select star from emp where commission is null or, right, or um, commission is equal to zero. Okay, and I want to wrap this. I want to wrap this particular condition. Right. The, together, these two together make up one condition, either a null or a zero. Um, if I select this and run, this will give me all of those employees that have an empty, uh, you know, the, that have null in their commission column, as well as as well as a zero in their commission column. Okay, and then. When I run this entire thing, you'll no longer see the employee making 1500, and that meets our requirement. So this is an important thing to keep in mind. Study this query, understand what's going on. Uh, these together are being evaluated because they're wrap, wrapped in these parentheses, and all of these ands together uh, are being, being applied at every single record, okay? So to read this more like English, we're doing select star from emp where commission is null or commission is zero, all right? Where commission is null or commission is zero and these conditions, all right? So uh, we are further, we are further reducing the result set by applying these conditions on this filtered data, okay? Hopefully this makes sense. This is a tricky concept for a lot of people to understand when they're first learning about ands and ors, but uh, definitely, uh, take your time with this lesson and understand what's going on. This is very important, up being able to apply these parentheses with your filter conditions. 
this makes SQL somewhat tricky for a lot of newcomers. So don't worry if this is confusing. We're going to get plenty more practice in the course. Now, with that being said, it's time for you to try another puzzle or to exercise this and an or logic. And the assignment is to write a query that returns those employees that are salesmen and that make either $300 in commission or greater than $1,000 in commission. So pause the video now and try this out and you can resume to watch my solution. All right, hopefully you tried this assignment out. Let's get rid of the old query here and let's run this bare bones select star from employee to see all of the data in the table. Now let's look through the data and find the records that we expect to be returned based on the requirement. And those are right here. Uh, there's salesman and the commission column contains the data 300 or or greater than a thousand and that's this record so both of these records qualify and they're because they're both salesmen so let's work on this query and i only expect these two records to be returned the salesman allen as well as the salesman martin so we do select star from employee where job is equal to salesman Let's first run this part to identify all of the salesmen. And there's four of them. The salesman commission should be either 300 or greater than 1,000. So to get that condition to work, we do and commission is equal to 300 or commission is greater than 1,000. And since we have a combined expression here, right, either one of these must be true. So we need parentheses. And the presence of parentheses causes conditions within them to be evaluated together. Okay, so it's either 300 or commission is greater than 1,000. Either one of these must be true, along with the fact that the employee must be a salesman. So now if we highlight this and hit run, this will give us those two records that we are expecting. Now in the remainder of this lesson, I want to go over another operator referred to as like. And you can use this to search for records that don't match exactly, but kind of match, okay? You basically give a pattern and it, it tries to search for all of those records that match that pattern. So let me give you an example. Uh, let me get rid of this bottom condition here. And right now we just have select star from employee where job is equal to salesman. So we uh, are getting the data that matches exactly with the word salesman in the job column. If I hit run, it's going to give me all of the records that contain exactly this particular word in the job column, right? Where job equals salesman. But I can also do like. And uh, if you highlight this and hit run, it's going to give us that data. But you might be wondering, well, why would you use the, why would you use like? You could just use equals. Well, the benefit of like is that I don't have to give this entire exact word. Right? I don't need to know that up front. I can just say, give me uh, all of the data that contains this pattern, okay? S percent. And what this means is, give me all of the data that starts with the letter S in the job column. And this percent sign, the percent sign is also referred to as a wild card because it could take the place of any character. In this case, it'll match any other characters after the S. So the only thing that's compulsory is the first letter S followed by any other gibberish that might follow the word, okay? So now if I highlight this and, and hit run, it'll of course give me all of the salesmen, but uh, we know we have clerks. So I could do the same thing with C, C percent, and highlight this and hit run, and this will give me all of the, all of the clerks. I know I have uh, managers, so I don't have to write the whole word manager. I could just write M-A-N and hit run, and this will give me uh, all of the managers. Uh, I could check for where the last three letters of the word is G-E-R. And the way I would do that is I would put the percent first, and then after the percent, the last three letters here are compulsory. This word must end with G-E-R, but I don't care about anything before. So highlight this and hit run, and it will give me the managers as well. Now we covered a lot of ground in this lesson, so let's wrap it up. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about aliases and how to change the way data looks in the output. So stay tuned. I'll see you soon.